Hello everybody. In this video, let us look at different types of bonds in brick masonry. In this video, we'll be covering several types of bonds. So if you want to jump on any one of these and understand that, you can directly go in the description below and jump to the timestamp given there. So the first type will be taken after we understand what masonry actually means. According to Merriam Webster website, that is a dictionary website, masonry is something constructed of materials used by masons. And according to Google, that is stonework, which are both correct, obviously. Our first bond is stretcher bond. The bond in which all the bricks are laid as stretchers is called stretcher bond. This bond is generally used in frame structures as partition walls. The thickness of this bond is just 4 inches. So we use this as a partition wall as there is negligible load on partition walls in a framed structure. Next bond is header bond. The bond in which all the bricks are laid as headers is called header bond. The thickness of this bond is 9 inches. For both stretcher bond and header bond, 4 inches and 9 inches are the thickness according to standard brick size. Next is English bond. This bond consists of headers and stretchers laid in alternate courses. Thickness of this bond is due to the header bond that is 9 inches. Next we have Flemish bond. The bond in which stretchers and headers are laid alternatively in each course is known as Flemish bond. As you can see in the figure, we have headers and stretchers laid alternatively in every single course. Flemish bond has two types. The first one is double Flemish bond. Double Flemish bond is the bond in which headers and stretchers are laid alternatively in each course. When looked from front, it appears to be English bond. But actually, in each course, both in the face and back of the wall, headers and stretchers are laid alternatively. And so, it actually becomes a double Flemish bond as you can see in the image. The next one in Flemish bond is single Flemish bond. The bond provided in a wall with Flemish bond in facing and English bond in backing is called single Flemish bond or cross bond. This definition can get clear by looking at the image given below. The next type of bond is garden wall bond. There are two types of garden wall bonds. The first one is English garden wall bond. The garden wall bond in which a heading course is provided after three or five stretching courses is called English garden wall bond. In the image attached with it, we see that there are three stretching bonds in layer one on another and then we have a header bond. So this becomes English garden wall bond. And for Flemish garden wall bond, we have header after three or five stretchers in each course. In the image attached with it, we see that there are three stretchers in a row and then one header in every course. Next we have raking bond. Also there are two types in raking bond, but first of all raking bond basically means that in this type of bond, alternate cores are placed in different directions. The two types further are divided into herring bone bond and diagonal bond. In herring bone bond, the bond in which bricks are laid at an angle of 45 degree, starting at the center line and proceeding towards the facing and backing of the wall is called herring bone bond. Whereas Diagonal raking bond means a bond in which bricks are laid starting from the corner in parallel rows 
inclined to the facing and backing the images make their definitions even more clearer next we have dutch bond in this bond we have two stretchers and one header laid alternatively in each course as the images show perfectly we have two stretchers then a header two stretchers then a header in each and every course thank you